Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today is February 24th, 2020, and today's poem is by Mary Oliver. Uh, before I get to that, though, I want to apologize for not getting poems to you uh, Thursday and Friday of last week. Came down with a cold at the end of last week and uh, lost my voice, so um, I you might be able to tell now I'm, I'm uh, still don't have it completely back. But I did want to make sure to get you some poems for this week. And uh, the poem that I'm going to read today is, as I said, by Mary Oliver, who was an American poet uh, who lived from 1935 to 2019. She died just over a year ago on January 17th of last year. She won the National Book Award and the Pulitzer Prize. And uh, in 2007, the New York Times called her far and away this country's best-selling poet. The poem that I'm going to read today is called Gethsemane. It goes like this. The grass never sleeps, or the roses, nor does the lily have a secret eye that shuts until morning. Jesus said, wait with me, but the disciples slept. The cricket has such splendid fringe on its feet, and it sings, have you noticed, with its whole body, and heaven knows if it ever sleeps. Jesus said, wait with me. And maybe the stars did. Maybe the wind wound itself into a silver tree and didn't move. Maybe the lake far away, where once he walked as on a blue pavement, lay still and waited, wild awake. Oh, the dear bodies, slumped and eyes shut, that could not keep that vigil. How they must have wept so utterly human, knowing this too must be part of the story. In some ways, Mary Oliver made a career of, of poems that are about in some way the union of nature and man, or man becoming one with nature, or falling into nature, uh, whether he or she wants to or not. And here, of course, we have the, the suggestion that uh, it would be better if men... Uh, and women were able to be like nature. After all, Jesus said, wait with me. But the disciples slept, unlike the grass and the roses and the lily, unlike the cricket, unlike the wind, unlike the lake, unlike the stars. One of the things that I like about this poem is that it's a suggestion, not just that nature is worth imitating, that the natural world has something worth imitating, a constancy that is, that is what uh, Jesus was requesting, but also that nature itself can be comforting. It reminds me of the, the Wendell Berry poem, The Piece of Wild Things, where he talks about how he, uh, when, 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 uh, thoughts of grief and despair are surrounding him when he's despairing for the world and, and despairing for what his children are going to have to see and live in. He, quote, comes into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. And in this poem, it, it seems as if Mary Oliver presents this scene where, where for a time Jesus rests in the grace of the world even as he knows what's coming. And, you know, we know, uh, if, you, if you read the Gospels, we know that, that Jesus spent that time praying. And so there seems to be a correlation here that Oliver is suggesting between prayer and between uh, being, uh, resting in the grace of the world, uh, the grace of the natural world, to, to borrow Barry's phrase there. Uh, this seems like a, a good poem to, to read as we're at the beginning of the Lenten season. For those of you who are, who, participate in those sorts of things, who are uh, churchgoers and, and who uh, have participated in sort of a liturgical season. Uh, so Lent is, is kicking off now or, or nearly now, uh, depending on which tradition you're a part of. But uh, it seemed like a good poem to kick off this, uh, this particular season in the church calendar. And, uh, and of course, Mary Oliver is a, just a good poet to return to every now and then. There's a reason why she was so popular. So once more, here is Mary Oliver's Gethsemane. The grass never sleeps, or the roses, nor does the lily have a secret eye that shuts until morning. Jesus said, wait with me, but the disciples slept. 
The cricket has such splendid fringe on its feet, and it sings, have you noticed, with its whole body, and heaven knows if it ever sleeps. Jesus said, wait with me. And maybe the stars did. Maybe the wind wound itself into a silver tree and didn't move. Maybe the lake far away, where once he walked as on a blue pavement, lay still and waited, wild awake. Oh, the dear bodies, slumped and eyes shut, that could not keep that vigil. How they must have wept, so utterly human, knowing this too must be a part of the story. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.